Fish and Chunks. Hi, everybody. Old Outdoorsman Gary Heydrich here with my sidekick, Tuffy. We just returned from our annual trip out in Kansas. Had some good walleye fishing. Want to had some big hybrids and white bass. Wow, we had a big trip. I want to thank my brother Tim and his lovely wife Debbie for having me out for a few days. Boy, we caught a lot of fish. A lot of fun. In fact, look at this. Look at these big white bass and hybrids we were catching. Whew, wow. Hey, in the Ozarks. I'm back in the Ozarks and I'm ready to go fishing. Here we are, June 1st. My goodness, June 1st already. And you know what that means? Walleye are moving shallow. We've got a good walleye report for you today. Crop are moving off the banks. That's traditional for this time of the year. And really good topwater fishing in the Ozarks. So we've got a lot to talk about. All right, let's go to uh, Table Rock Lake. You can catch them shallow. You can catch them in a foot of water. Or you can catch them in 30 feet of water. <laughs> a lot of good bass fishing this last few days out at Table Rock. Now, in the morning hours, you want to get out right at dark 30 because the topwater fishing has really been good. And uh, the first hour or two of the day, now if you hit an overcast day, hey, they may go all day long. But I, I want to tell you, the dock fishing around the docks this time of the year, really good due to the fact of the shad spawn. And I want to give you a tip here. If you want to try this type of fishing, it's pretty easy. Just get that topwater bait real close to the docks. But Kevin Van Dam, our old buddy Kevin Van Dam, has a good, good topwater uh, uh, movie or videotape, I should say, on YouTube. Just go to Kevin Van Dam Topwater, Table Rock should get it. Really good instructional tape. And uh, so the topwater fishing's good in the morning hours around the docks because the shad are, are moving around the docks and spawning. And uh, just get that bait real close to the docks. Yeah, popars, spooks. A variety of baits will work. Get out there and try that. And you never know when these rascals are going to come up anywhere on the lake at any time. So we always preach here on Fish and Chums, have a, a topwater bait or two tied on at your fingertips. When they come up, you'll be ready for them. So good topwater fishing out at Table Rock. Now, after the sun comes out a little bit, you can catch them on the long gravel runouts on the points. You can use a variety of baits. Some people have been... Uh, jigging, just pitching a jig out there, or grubs out there swimming it by. Uh, some people have just been uh, using uh, some Ned rigs. i tell you what, the Ned rig, I love the Ned rig just about any time of the year, but that's starting to get real good as we talked about the last couple of weeks on the program. Ned rig fishing. Some people are drop shot fishing already. Now, in the uh, morning hours also up the James River, I've had a fair reports on buzz baits, and they've been picking up some fish and jigs in the brush piles. And the white bass fishing, as I mentioned the last couple of weeks here, my good friend Catfish Rick Ellis has been up there. And, boy, they really got in some great, great big old white bass. So that's happening. And so check out Table Rock for the upcoming weekend. Crappie you might try the docks and, of course, get off the bank in about 15 to 18, 20 feet of water. Jig those sink, sunken brush piles. Jigs are minnows. I think you can catch some crappie at Table Rock this weekend as well. And a few walleye have been caught off the points. In fact, Catfish Rick and I are getting ready to go out and do some walleye fishing here in just a little bit. And we'll have that report on next week's program. But they've been uh, jigging nightcrawler on the points at Table Rock. Also trolling some diving baits off some of the points and flats. All right, let's go out to uh, Tanny Como. They've been running... Uh, you know, they've been drawing the lake down in the evening, nighttime hours, but in the morning they'll be cracking up uh, one or two uh, turbines. And so the drift fishing's been good. And uh, they're still catching fish on those white jigs. We've been reporting this the last couple of weeks on the program because they had a lot of shad had come through. And so the white jigs are good. I'd recommend 16th ounce. Now, if they're running a lot of water, go to an eighth ounce. Look this picture here off Lily's Landing. Guy was again pitching out a white jig, 16th ounce, swimming it in, back to the dock, boom, a nice uh, seven and a half pounder. Nice brown trout. That's a nice release fish. Good going, buddy. All right, now let's see. Uh, Tanny Como, the white jigs, spoons have been working. I like that um, little Cleo spoon. I like the silver with the blue, but they have been picking up some fish, as I mentioned on last week's silver and orange are red but silver and blue seems to be working real good and they've been drift fishing uh some minnows 
and uh, once in a while they'll pick up the fish on a night crawler too. Tiny Como looks good for the upcoming weekend. What do you think, Tuffy? You went down? Okay, they. Okay, let's go over to Bull Shoals. A lot of things are happening at Bull Shoals. I love Bull Shoals this time of the year because the walleye are moving up on the points and the flats anywhere from 8 to 10, 12, 14 feet of water. A lot of 10 foot fish being caught. And this is the bait you need. This is a flicker minnow from Berkeley. Now they have them in three or four different sizes. I like that medium size. It'll get down around 8, 10, 12 feet of water. Uh, I like the minnow colored. And I like that uh, chartreuse color with a little bit of orange. So trolling out at Bull Shoals Lake off the flats and the points. And again, you don't have to get real deep. 8, 10, 12, 14 feet of water. Boy, the flicker minnow will get you some fish out in that Kadok area. Boy, they've been having some nice uh, catches of walleye the last few days out there. So walleye fishing good at Bull Shoals Kadok area. And we've had some fair crappie reports. Uh, they've moved off to the deeper water. And they're catching these in the tree, th I should say the brush, sunken brush piles. Uh, 15 feet of water for the average, 18 feet. Jig, jig, and minnow, you know how to do it. And they're catching some crappie around the docks at times, too. Bass fishing continues to be pretty good at Bull Shoals because the lake is high. And all that new brush, they're flipping jigs. They're flipping uh, plastic worms, Texas style. Uh, they've been working the brush pile, especially early in the morning. If you have a little bit of wind, spinner baits have been working. And top water at Bull Shoals has been working as well. Get up in the morning, the first couple of hours, buzz baits has been pretty good. And of course, your spooks and your pop R's. Bull Shoals looks good for the upcoming weekend. Get out there, boys. That's for the walleye. Ooh. Flicker Minnow. Berkeley Flicker Minnow. Okay, let's go to Stockton Lake. Stockton, uh, if you want walleye, if I had one lake to sh uh, send you, like I said on last week's show, I'd go to uh, Stockton. Now here we are the 1st of June, and if we have a day that's real clear, what we call the bluebird days, get up extra early, be out there at dark 30, and start fishing the points at Stockton with a jig and night crawler. In the first couple hours of the day, you're going to catch some walleye out there. At the lower end, fish the points, anywhere from 8, 10, 12, 15 feet of water. Jig and night crawler, use your electric motor. And uh, once that sun gets up there, though, it's awful tough. You might have to get back out there in the evening and try it. So... Uh, well, all eye fishing at times have really been good. They've had some nice limits that stocked in this last week. Of course, the uh, crappie uh, moved off the banks, and sometimes they're out there over deep water using your electric motor, or some of the boys are even trolling, picking up some crappie. Some people are getting the brush piles in about 15, 18, 20, 25 feet of water at Stockton and picking up some nice crappie. White bass at times have been surfacing out there, so keep your eyes out on surfacing white bass. Okay, let's go to Truman. Hi, right, gosh, we love Truman. I tell you, 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 you never know what you're going to catch out there. The, the crappie fishing is good. They've been having some good white bass and hybrid fishing. Cat fishing's good. So we'll show you some good pictures here. In fact, uh, the big hybrid, uh, hybrid here, Matt uh, caught this particular fish nearly 18 pounds. That's a big hybrid. I caught him this week out in Kansas in that 8 pound range, 8, 10 pound range, but boy, you get a fish that, like this, uh, it really pulls. So those little eight pounders will pull. And so, Matt, good good catch, buddy, good catch. So the, the hybrids and the white bass have been scooting off some of the points out there, and uh, they've been spoon fishing as well. And they have been picking up some real nice fish. So that may be good for the upcoming weekend. And how about crappie? My gosh, let's look at the crappie. Rick, look at Rick here. Rick Farrell. He had the, just a few days ago out of Truman, look at these two big old boys, two big old girls, I should say. Beautiful crappie, uh, Rick, nice, nice fish. So it's been good crappie fishing at Truman. A lot of limits have been caught out there. Of course, they're not on the banks. They're off the banks. Get out there, and like I mentioned on last week's program, in the uh, cedar trees, and they've been picking up some fish just over the deep sunken brush piles and some real nice limits of crappie out at Truman. That fishing has been real good at Truman, so you may want to check this out. And uh, once in a while, they're picking up some fish down below the dam. But I tell you, that crappie fishing is really good at Truman. Boy, they're getting in that summer pattern. Wow, get out there. All right, uh, Truman's good. They've been picking up some crappie out at uh, Lake of the Ozarks. Of course, they're off the banks, 10, 12, 15 feet of water. And uh, they have been picking up some nice fish in the brush piles. 
One other quick report. We had a request from over at Norfolk. Norfolk, I love Norfolk. Cut a lot of walleye in that lake. But they've been picking up some white bass and hybrid schooling out there in the morning hours at Norfolk. And they've been schooling off the point. So get out there extra early in the morning or late, late in the evening and get some topwater baits. Boy, you talk about fun when you get those hybrids on topwater and uh, some big old white bass. And they've had some fair walleye fishing out at uh, Norfolk as well, off some of the deep water points and off some of the flats. Well, that's it for the day. A pretty good report for the 1st of June. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting out and doing some walleye fishing in the next few days. Now, my pick day for the upcoming weekend, you're going to get out, uh, I don't know if I'm going Saturday or Sunday. I would go Sunday because it's going to be quite a bit cooler on Sunday than Saturday. Saturday's going to be pretty warm. Well, thank you for being with us here on Fish and Chums. If you would like to uh, share with your friends, we'd really appreciate it. And like, we'd love you to like. And, of course, subscribe. That helps us out somewhat. So subscribe. It's absolutely free. You won't miss out on anything. If you'd like to send us some photos, like we get photos and requests and give us information, just go to our email at fishingchums at gmail.com. Boy, I think it's going to be a good weekend. Whew, get out there and get bit. Talk to you next week. Happy outdoors.